Oh, that was excellent. You guys just witnessed a really cool, super cool string of events. So I was thinking about halfway through this video, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do something I've never done, or not never done, I haven't done for a long time, let's say, um, which is post a video that I didn't edit. I always edit it. The reason being is hunts can be hours long, days long sometimes, like you have no idea your guys' little 10 to 15 minute videos. Shirni, come here. Sometimes they are four to six hour hunts or more. Uh, the last one we did, the routing we did, it was eight hours of footage. Eight hours of footage. There's no way I'm gonna post an eight hour video. Nobody would watch it, absolutely no one. I know a lot of you guys say, oh yeah, I'd watch it. Yeah, you wouldn't. You have no idea how much boring content's in the middle. And it's one thing to be sitting around while you're there. It's a whole nother thing to be sitting around at home watching it. And see, YouTube knows when I skip, it knows when you skip stuff. So when you skip through my videos, let's say it's a 11 minute video and you skip through the slow parts so that you watch five minutes of that 11 minute video, YouTube knows that and they put it as a mark against me. They're like, ah, this guy, he wasn't that into your stuff. He watched less than half of the video. And sure you watched the end part, some middle and the end, or excuse me, sure you watched the beginning part, the end part, and some stuff in the middle, but YouTube knows you're skipping through it. So they think your interest is less whenever you do that. So there's no way I'm gonna post an eight, four to eight hour video and expect you guys to watch it. This ordeal was probably 40 minutes, 30 minutes, I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna give it a try. You guys let me know what you think. What does a real hunt like? Obviously, I'll only be able to do this when it's a quick to the point hunt like we had today. If it's one of those six hour ones, we're not gonna even try it. But a quick little one that's under an hour, um, I might start sharing some of them. Now, the best way to tell me what you think isn't to put a comment in the link below, it's to watch the whole video. Because if you skip through it, once again, the algorithms that YouTube uses is gonna say, hey dude, don't do this, people don't like it. So, if you like, what I'm showing you today, watch the whole video without skipping through it, and that will tell YouTube, who really matters, that hey, you like this content, show me more, and they'll show you more, as well as encourage other people to watch it, because they thought, hey, if you like it, other people might like it too. So, if you don't like it, and you're like, dude, this is boring, I wanna watch the short little, to the point, 10 minute video, then go ahead and skip through it, just realize I won't be posting more of these, which I guess, if that's your opinion, then you'll be like, you'll like that, right? My name is Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who were impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. Alrighty. Let's see what there is to see, yeah? Looks like there's some ice down here. Go check out the ice, Boone. See what's under the ice. Let's take your leash off here so you don't get tangled. All right, there you go. Go see what there is to see. Now, I'm not seeing a ton of bubbles here. Usually, when there's muskrats traveling under the ice on a regular basis, there's a bit of a trail of bubbles you can see. And you notice there's bubbles spear up sporadically, but not a ton. Which leads me to believe that they're not coming in under, under the ice often enough to have a den over here. And that's really what we're looking for is a den, not just little foraging spots, but where they are actually sleeping. Because this time of night, they're, well, actually they easily could be out and about as, as easily as they could be denning at this time of day. But, um... Anyway, let's see what there is to find. We'll go down here a little further and then I'm going to head back up to where we caught the muskrats yesterday. Let Boone swim around here for a minute. Oh, I should have brought the other cobra on a stick. grass in the water which always 
makes me suspicious of muskrats. Of course, every blade of grass sure doesn't mean a muskrat, but it could. Looks like Boone's high tail on it down there. And I can't really, oh, there's some more grass. So there might be muskrats feeding. Oh, I think I see some murk under the water. Where did Boone go? No, maybe not. Maybe not, never mind. Oh, there is some, some grass movement. Now, of course, that could be just feeding. I'm going to scratch traveling back and forth to feed. Yeah, all that grass, he's definitely coming down this way. But that could be from the deceased muskrat we already caught, for all we know. So we'll keep an eye out and see. Probably should have gave this spot a couple weeks to flush out all the old sign to notice if there's a new sign indicating another muskrat. I was anxious to come back here again, see if we'd have more luck. Oh, there's a little, oh, a turtle. Look at that. Let's get it before the mink finds it. Look at that, that was totally not what I expected to find today. Let's try and get it for Boone does. Look at this little painted turtle. What are you doing now, buddy? It's pretty cold to be slugging around. Boom just went in a hole. Yeah, a little pretty painted turtle. Should I bring this home and show Olive? Oh, what's going on there? Oh, it's just him searching. I thought he had something. He's kind of swirling around there for a minute. I thought maybe he found something else. But... Isn't that cool? A little painted turtle. Pretty little thing. That was really unexpected. That's the second under the ice unexpected turtle I found this year. I found a big red ear slider. Not, nothing even remotely similar to this, but it was under the ice just like this one. Not cool. I think I'll have to bring it home show all of it. I should have brought all of it, man. She would have been excited to see this, but I guess I'll bring it. Let her see it at home. Well, Boone's sure interested in something here. I wonder if he can smell the turtle or something. And that's why he's he's really searching this spot hard. I saw some minnows down in here. Maybe he's detected a couple of minnows they've brushed up against his nose. And now he's anxious to catch him. I don't know. He's sure given this spot a lot more time than I would. But then again, this is the only life I've seen so far today is the minnows and the uh, turtle in this spot. So why not search it, huh? Good job, Mr. Boone. Well, looks like it's dried out that way. It looks like this is where it ends. There's a, a spring that feeds this, I believe, because the water doesn't continue further down that way this time of year. Other times of year, it flows the entire length, and there would be a big waterfall. But this time of year, it kind of dries up, and the water level is pretty shallow. So um, there isn't near as water, much water in the winter as there is in the spring and summer. Like I said, this would be all flowing water um, in the spring. And I don't hunt this often enough to know exactly when the water increases. But I know when I'm here in the nicer weather, man, this thing's full of water. It's not very deep water, but it's a heck of a lot more than we've got right now. You guys have actually seen us hunting early spring here with, with um, um, oh, what was her name? Freak. Little Miss Mamba. You guys have actually seen us fishing here with Mamba. We were catching those big old carp. And if you remember um, how deep the water was back then in the spring, um, and that was really early spring, maybe even late winter, I can't remember the exact month. I'll look back on the videos and see if it says what month it was, but. Um, I seem to think it was really early spring. This place was full of water and had carp in it and everything. Oh, oh, he's got something. Is that a fish or a stick? Oh, it's just a stick. Do you want to put your stick in the box? Is that what you're looking for? Here, I'll reward you for that. It's kind of silly, but if you're putting stuff in the box, you're going to get a reward. There you go, boom. 
there's your meat good job putting the stick in the box kind of a silly thing to put in there but he thought it had value so sure as heck wasn't gonna not reward him for it i want him to feel rewarded sure need give him space he was hissing at Shirney. No, outside. Outside. Good girl. That's a good boy. Should we go find some more stuff? Okay, I don't always reward him for caching little funny things like that, but since he had such a hard time um, caching yesterday and uh, he was so anxious to do it, I figured let's, let's give him a reward for it. I'd rather reward him too much than too little, you know? Oh, good. He's heading the way I was hoping he would. I was thinking I'd have to encourage him this direction, but he he's on the same He has the same thoughts as me. Let's go up where the muskrats were yesterday and see if there's more. Hey, I don't know how late you guys saw that he was sliding around on the ice pretty funny sliding around like a little otter playing. Oh he's heading way up ahead. We gotta walk a little faster. Yeah, this is definitely a feeding spot for the muskrats. No doubt about that. Look at the grass down there. But, uh, I don't think they live here. I think they just come here to feed. Like I said, the question is, are these signs from the same two we caught yesterday? Or is it, are there more than just two here? Heh, <laughs> Boone's having fun. He's flying back up and down. He's playing more than hunting right now. Maybe he's got a little boost of energy from that piece of meat I gave him. And go under the ice. Keep down under the ice now. I don't know how you guys can see that. I think the reflection's messing it up, but he's swimming under the ice right now. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He's in that bubble under. The, here he comes, poking his head out. Oh, he's back down again. You know, come to think of it, I was talking about the water levels being so low because of the time of year. It might not be the time of year. We've actually had a very unusually dry uh, year last year and so far we haven't had very much time for it to change yet obviously we've only been in the year for a few days but um, <clears throat> last year was incredibly dry so maybe it has nothing to do with the season maybe I'm wrong maybe it is the uh, just the year this particular year so dry that cannot the, the, the stream is dried up it's hard to say you know I don't I don't hunt this often enough to have it really memorized on the annual fluctuations. So it's hard to say whether this is a normal winter or whether this is um, brought on due to the drought that we're experiencing. So I just realized that fact, it might have nothing to do with season and everything to do with the unusually dry weather we've had since the last 10, 12 months. We had a dry spring, really dry dry summer. Dry summers are almost always dry here. And then a really dry fall as well. And man, it's uh, now we've been into winter and it's been almost as dry. So very little precipitation. Oh, where'd Boone go? So I'm head up this way, but I didn't see if he turned or went straight. He's been zipping around so much, he might have run up ahead. He might be under the ice, he might be in a hole. Uh, sure knee. Did sure knee run with Boone? Oh, here's Boone. He's up on the shore. I'm gonna call him down real quick. Get outside, pup. I'll boom down here. Oh, there he is. I don't want him getting tangled with the dog or something. He's not afraid of dogs. Obviously, he's too healthy. If the dog wants to grab a mink, just 
give him a little snack for coming. Let's see if we can continue him down the stream. There he goes. Ah, there's some grass activity up here. There's a little bit of a bubble trail. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a tiny bubby bubble trail, really short, faint bubble trail there. See it? But a muskrat could have laid that, but he obviously doesn't lay it very often or the ice has thawed and frozen again because it's not a very heavy bub bubble trail. It's really light. I hate those pipes. Come on, Boone, stick. Come away from the pipe. Let's go down here. Yeah, there's more feeding sign. More muskrat feeding sign. Yeah, I hate those drainage pipes because you never know where they lead and you don't want the mink running down them. Yeah, look at all this feeding sign. Muskrats have been feeding here a lot. All this grass in the water. Lots of grass in the water. Let's see if there's another den here or what. A lot of feeding going on, that's for sure. Look at all that. They just got like a... Just piles of grass. Now Boone is searching for dens. He's down along the bank looking to see if there's a crevice he can crawl into or there might be a muskrat or some other treat. That's the thing with mink is muskrats aren't the only thing they eat. So along these little streams, going in a hole, even if there's no muskrat in it, could mean something else like a frog or a um, coot will sometimes kind of duck into a, a muskrat hole so even birds oddly enough as it sounds I've seen birds in muskrat holes not very deep but kind of in the entrance if it's above water entrance they'll go in for a little bit to kind of duck into cover so I mean, that's obviously extremely unusual but it, I've seen it you've got coots rarely ducks usually an injured duck if it's trying to crawl into a tight spot like that it's usually kind of desperate but oh did he go in a, oh no oh, muskrat there we go there's another muskrat i don't know if you guys could see that it just swam under the ice and here it is right over here so we got another muskrat Woohoo! yep swim right here i don't know if you guys see the water plants moving and it just went under me so there must be oh no it's it's sitting right here in the shallows i haven't seen boone yet so it's right underneath me that last I saw the movement stopped right by me. Um, so let's go back and see where Boone is. There's Boone coming out. He said, hey, I found a muskrat. Where'd the muskrat go? I don't know how well you guys can see that. He's swimming along right there. Same trail the muskrat went on. I doubt he's trailing it. He's probably just swimming the most convenient path because uh, they can't scent underwater. I don't, I don't know why I said I doubt. There's no way he's trailing it because they can't um, detect scent underwater, not like turtles and, and things. So he's probably just driving, swimming the path of least resistance, which would be the same path the muskrat would take. But now he went back up in the den I know you guys can't really see. I'm sorry about that. Uh, there's not much I could do about it. But anyway, he's back up in the den as far as I can tell. I don't see any more activity and that's where he came out from. So he's up in here somewhere. Um, probably catching his breath, maybe drying off, maybe looking, probably actually not doing any of that. He's looking, oh, here he comes out here. Right about there. He, he might've just been searching the den real quick for another muskrat or the muskrat, he doesn't know. <clears throat> where the first one went ah oh, that's cool we got way more muskrats here than i expected we got two yesterday and this is our third pretty exciting i see bubbles where did boone go shuni's watching over here she knows there's a muskrat down there oh, good girl are you watching for it Oh, that's a good girl. She might be able to hear it, knowing her those big old ears are super helpful. She detects sound that we could never begin to detect. And so she probably, that's probably the sense she's using right now, isn't sight. 
could be smell, but it's most likely sound. If, if she is using her nose, it's mostly sound. She, listen, watch her cock her head there for a sec. She, she knows there's something around. And so she's just waiting. She wants the mink to push it out so she can snatch it. Which, this spot, I don't think I'll let her snatch it. Oh, there's Boone. He just came out over there. Boone! Boone! Good boy. He's coming. He thinks I know where it's at, which I do. We'll let him kind of find it with his nose. It's right here. If he splashed in the water. It's right here. Oops. Somewhere in here. Boone's getting close to it. So he might be able to smell it. I think he's just sitting under the bank. Or there might be a den that he's in. It's hard to tell. I didn't really know the den he came out of was there. So there might be another den. Or he could be just sitting under the bank catching his breath. It's hard to say. That's pretty cool. Wonder how many more are here. Not a very big waterway, so probably not too many. Pretty cool though. I had to hunt this more often. I mean, not too much this year. We'll, we'll hunt it out, but uh, I had to come back next year for sure. And I've hunted this a, a fair bit, but this is the most success I've ever had here. Catching two yesterday and finding a third today, whether or not we get it, we'll see, but we found it. We know it's here. And that's better than I usually do. Three. Here comes the boon. He's trying to find where that muskrat's hiding. Now, where did that guy go? He's right there in that grass. You can see the water moving, hopefully. Now you probably can't. He's swimming under there. Oh, he's going to find that muskrat, isn't he? He's, he's hugging the bank, swimming along. He stopped. He must be getting a breath, I would guess. Maybe he found another den. For all I know, that's the back entrance to the den the muskrat went in. If, if there is a den the muskrat went in, there could very easily be a, an exit right here. That's possible. I haven't seen him, so there must be a den there. If he was just catching his breath, you think he'd be pretty prompt coming back out. So now the question is, do I stand here and watch, or do I come back where this muskrat disappeared and watch? Because it could pop out over here if that's the same den. Um, I think I'll watch from here, and then I will um, keep an eye on Shirni and the reed, the little grass in the water should make movement more obvious than it is in this more open water under the ice so i think i'll stand here and watch this area and then i'll just kind of keep an eye out over here where sure knee is where that muskrat disappeared which is right about here ish it disappeared right about here from what i could tell oh, oh there's the mink so look the mink came out where the muskrat disappeared roughly so that might have been a full, that was most likely a full-size den, not just a little dip in the bank. The question is, where'd the muskrat go? That's the real question. Where'd the muskrat go? Oh, yep. Boone looks like he's going in. Yep, we went in a hole again. So where's the muskrat? The water's too shallow for him to have escaped upstream without notice, I would think. Anyway, it looks like I would be able to see a muskrat disappear or trying to sneak away up there and definitely sure he would have noticed it if I didn't She's a lot more observant than he than I Okay, let's watch over here and see if he comes out here And and I actually noticed Boone um, from sure She she made a movement and cocked her head Which caught my eye stronger than the the casual the uh subtle ripples in the water was her body language actually caught my eye before the ripples it's a oh she's see she just looked I, I guess you can't see sorry but she swung her head and looked got more aware which is how i noticed that boone came out last time but nothing's here so i don't know what she heard she sure needs not acting like boone's caught anything 
which doesn't mean anything for sure, but a lot of times when they catch something underground, she can hear it and she'll sit and cock her head and show a lot of interest and that lets you know the mink's caught something, but I'm sure that's not foolproof. I'm sure if it's thick enough, the dirt is thick enough, I'm sure it muffles the sound to where she can't hear it either. Plus all these entrances are totally submerged, so there's not gonna be any sound echoing out the way it would if it was above water. Huh, what's going on now? Did Boone catch it underground or underwater? Well, I guess it's underground, not underwater. Because obviously the muskrat den because oh there's more splashing. Here's Boone again. So, where'd the muskrat go? Did Boone kill it? He's down there long enough. Hey Boone, look, here's your nest box. Did Boone kill it or did it get away? Or is it hiding somewhere different? See, now Boone's all excited. Look at him searching. Which leads me to believe he hasn't found it yet. You know, the muskrat might have moved and he's what we call snorkeling. Somewhere where he could just barely get a breath, poking his nose up just enough to breathe, but he's totally submerged and just sitting still, hoping that we'll walk away and not find him. He could be doing that, and these banks give insulation so that the ice doesn't doesn't freeze. So out in the middle of the water is where the ice is the thickest, and the right along the edge, up under the bank, tucked under the grass, is where the ice is the thinnest or oftentimes non-existent. It's not just thin, there's no ice there. And so sometimes it's a it's a decent gap, sometimes it's just a slight crack, but that slight crack could potentially be just enough for that muskrat to poke his head up and get a little air, or nose up, excuse me, do what I say, snorkeling, get just a little gasp of air, and he just calmly rests, hoping the mink will swim away and go hunt somewhere else. And uh, young muskrats use that tactic pretty often because they're not very quick and nimble but adult muskrats use it when they're desperate and uh, he doesn't really have too many escape options so I would say he's in the desperate category so it would make perfect sense for him to be snorkeling somewhere and uh, almost impossible to detect until you run right into him kind of thing and Boone's up in the den again of course it's very well possible that muskrat switched dens while we were distracted and uh, has been going back and forth and unknown to us so that's possible he could be in the den that Boone just entered on the far side There's Boone moving around right under the bank. He's coming over this side. Geez, I wish that glare wasn't there. It's kind of annoying, or very annoying. You want to rest in your box for a sec? Let's walk upstream for a second, see if maybe we can find something up here. Maybe snuck past us somehow. Oh, we're right back to where we were yesterday. So there is a muskrat den up here we discovered last time this is where I caught the second muskrat was right here in this little pocket he wasn't it's not a den it's just like a place he was tucked in underneath trying to hide and wait for us to leave and the dens up here by where by where Sharnia is up here roughly so let's see if maybe it's hiding in this den that we were at yesterday
Boone's looking for that entrance, I think. I don't remember where it is exactly. Okay, sorry guys, I had to stop the camera and change batteries. I was running out of battery and I didn't want to risk we caught the muskrat um, while the battery was dying. So, got a fresh battery. And if you look up here, I locked Spoon up while I was changing batteries just in case I didn't want to lose track of him or have him catch something while I was off. So, Shuni is up here. Uh, you guys can't see and I can't zoom. She's paying attention to something under this bank up here. And uh, there, I see ripples coming out. Maybe I should go closer. Well, I, I'm not going to screw around. I'm going to let Boone out. But just trust me. Shirini's standing over a bank with ripples. I told her not to get anything. I want Boone to be able to get it. So hopefully... Hopefully it's a muskrat. But I don't know what else would leave ripples that big this time of year. So I have high hopes it's a muskrat. I'm going to kind of guide Boone in this direction a little bit. Not this way, Mr. Boone. And then I've got this prepared for when he catches, I'm gonna put a loop on the muskrat's head, back leg, so I have control over it. Um, oh, Boone's interested. I need to switch sides here. Yeah, Boone's rushing up here. Sorry, guys, sorry, guys, bad camera work. Outside, sure neat. Yeah, Boone's real curious up here, too. Oh, he's got something, he's got it. It's a muskrat, it's a muskrat, it's another muskrat. He's got it. Oh, we lost it. We got it again. Good job, Boone. Good job, Boone. He got it. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So I'm going to hurry in here. Get a line on the leg. So we don't risk losing it. I don't want to interfere. Otherwise, I'm going to just let him do his thing. I don't want to risk losing it. Like yesterday, he almost lost it. He was so infatuated with taking it down the hole. So now we got control. There's very little risk of losing it. I can relax, let him do his thing, and then just ask him to cash it in the box. Okay, sweet, sweet. I don't know how he snuck past us, but he did. He snuck past me and Shirini. Those muskrats can be sneaky sometimes. I'll show Boone where the box is. Better get the meat ready. Need up. Actually, I about to back this up a little bit. Now he's doing what he did yesterday, but this time we can relax because he's got a line attached to the muskrat. So let's uh, let's kind of interrupt him here. Boone, no, dude, no, dude. Boone, look. There we go. We'll let him kind of run with it. He's past the den now. Keep a hold on this string. We'll let him kind of go where he wants with it, I guess. I don't know where he's taking it, so. Good idea getting this line. This is the first time I've used this little trick. Put a line on him. Sure knee, way back. Way back. Sure, come back, come back. She's never heard of a mink before. She doesn't know what I'm asking her. Way back. Way back. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. No, come back. See, and if I get sure need to kind of cut her off, cut him off. Okay, he's trying to take it up. Let's steal it from him. See, he let go for a second. I'm going to just steal it from him. That'll be his consequence for not cashing it. Trying to figure out what to do. I've never used this method before while hunting, but so I stole his muskrat and he is now looking for it. We'll give him a minute to cool off. Then I'll give it back to him. He's like, dude, where's my muskrat? Yeah, you're taking it to the wrong place, you little jerk. Oh, I gotta get this meat in my pocket. 
Oh shoot, he's sniffing like there's something down here. There might be a, the other muskrat. There might be more than one. Yesterday there was two, so there might be multiples here. Maybe the one we caught isn't the one we saw earlier. In fact, the way Shuni was sniffing the ground, like she's sniffing, that's the kind of started digging. There might be another muskrat. There, that's what happened yesterday. We thought there was just one, and there ended up being multiples. My goal is not for him to catch another muskrat, it's for him to calm down, lose his wahehe, and uh, behave appropriately. And you see he's just running around crazy. He's looking for his muskrat. Where'd it go, where'd it go? Okay, let's give him another opportunity here. Boone. Boone. Like, where did my muskrat go? Uh, he looks like he went down a hole. I don't see anymore. Oh, no, there's a little ripple. Nope. Oh, that looked like a muskrat. That did not look like meek movement. I could be wrong, though. Is that muskrat or mink? Is that muskrat or mink? Something moved, and it looked more muskrat than mink to me. But I could be wrong. It looked more muskrat than mink to me. It's hard to say for sure when all you see is a water ripple, you know. I feel like muskrat possibility. So there might be two. Watch and see if we see more movement. Not seeing anything. I don't know, to me that just seemed more like a muskrat ripple than an ink ripple. It was deeper and more straightforward. Oh, oh, yep, here's the mink. So he found a second muskrat. There's two muskrats here. Now, I don't really want him catching a second. Let's, uh, let's, uh, get him coming back here. Boone. So there's two muskrats. We'll come back another day. I don't want to. See if we could get him to put it in the box now. He's taking it again, so I'm gonna take look for an opportunity to steal it from him. I'm not gonna let him take it in the hole. I'll let him just get frustrated and then I'll steal it from him. So here I'm just kind of tugging on it so he can't pull it in the hole. And he's gotta go in it. There we go, he let go. So I let him get, go on his own. So every time he does that, I'm gonna steal it from him. He learns the only place to keep it is the box. Take it to the box, you get what you want. You keep taking it to those stupid holes, you lose it. I hope, I, I kind of wish that other muskrat wasn't here to be honest, because it's, right now I'm more focused on training than I am hunting. I want him to uh, learn to cache this thing. Maybe I should walk down here away from the muskrat, see if he'll follow me. He's like, heck no. Yeah, he's following me, so I'm gonna walk this way. See if I can get him to think of the right place yeah let's let him waste some time up here upstream away from probably for all we know there's another one but for away from the muskrat we know of i'm kind of proud of myself not, I, I shouldn't be bragging here that's kind of a lame thing to do but man i knew what that was without seeing it i didn't see a lick of fur it was just pure movement in the water and i recognized it as muskrat versus mink okay let's try again here Give him the box, let him see it, toss the muskrat out. Okay, get the meat ready. Let's see if we can get him to bring it back to the right place this time. And the box is right in his path. Let's see if we can get him to bring it to the... We're setting him up for success. He, the box is where he would have gone anyway. There we go. Now he's thinking box. Good boy. Now you're thinking box, but you gotta bring it a little closer. You can see that muskrat's a little ways off. I want a little closer than it is. Now he's thinking caching instead of hiding it somewhere else. So I'm pretty sure he'll do it now. There you go, good boy. That's a good mink. There we go, man, that was a good trick. So I learned a new little trick, a way of training while hunting. Um, 
a lot of times those muskrats are caught above ground um, it's pretty common for them to to because they know how vulnerable they are underground so they're obsessed with coming out and it's not uncommon to or it's actually more common to catch them above ground than it is underground unlike some other animals like brown rats i don't know it's probably 50 50. Um, squirrels you definitely catch more underground than above rabbits same thing almost every rabbit you catch is above ground or, or underground excuse me it's a rare moment to catch one above ground but um let's get a hold of his tail and guide him in the box i just don't want to make sure he doesn't take off with a piece of meat because we have no control over the meat and i just realized that so let's see if we can get him to take it in the box go in the box buddy go in the box there you go good boy there we go got him in the box i wanted to do that gently so i didn't make him feel nervous too nervous anyway that i was going to steal his stuff because i want him to trust me here last thing i want to do is break his trust and get him nervous and avoiding me and thinking i'm going to steal his stuff do not want that at all Obviously, I mean, like, why would he ever bring me his catch if he doesn't trust me, right? Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the experience, the, tr the learning that both I and my mink are having. Hope you enjoyed this goofy dog. Man, I love her to death. She found that muskrat for us. And she said, hey, it's here without grabbing it. And she is an amazing dog. I really love her. I love all my dogs, but I think I think this is my favorite, huh? Huh, you're my favorite. That's not fair. You're not supposed to have favorites, right? But she's a good dog, huh? Oh, she's a good dog. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll show you more next time. Say bye, Shirney.